A climate bill that set mandatory caps on greenhouse gas emissions was the main topic at a meeting up in Enid earlier today. Congressman Frank Lucas hosted the meeting, and as News 9's Jacqueline Sitt tells us, the congressman fears the bill could have a negative impact on many Oklahomans. Lawmakers say if this cap and trade bill passes, fertilizer plants like this one here in Enid could shut down, and eventually the high cost could trickle down to consumers like you in the long run. The cost of not only producing fertilizer, a major input in production agriculture, but the cost of everything we do will go up under this bill. The price of gasoline, the price of diesel, the price of electricity, not only at your work, or at your place of business, but in your home. Congressman Frank Lucas says the cap and trade could have a negative impact on our state's farmers, ranchers, and businesses. This is how the president's proposed cap and trade bill works. A national cap is put on carbon emissions and uses market-based system of credits to enforce caps. Companies with more credits than they needed could trade that to other companies that can't meet their emissions cap. This is probably one of the most dramatic attempts at a federal government takeover of the decision-making process in our economy I've seen in my lifetime. Lucas says if this law passes as is, this could severely affect an industry that is critical for food production and the country's economic health. It could also mean the loss of tens of thousands of manufacturing jobs across the country and in towns like Enid, where the Coke Nitrogen Company's fertilizer production meets farmers' demands in the region. Lucas adds a cap on emissions means fewer production. In places like China, they're using coal to make nitrogen right now. If we pass this bill and disadvantage our producers at home, we simply will see more coal burnt in China to make fertilizer that it will then be shipped to the United States to be sold to our farmers and ranchers. What a frightening prospect. Every step from the, from the soil to the plate requires energy, and when you raise dramatically the cost of energy, that food on a consumer's dinner plate is going to cost more, a lot more, I'm afraid. Farmers like Terry Dietrich has already been hit hard with a tough year, and this bill could take a toll on the Enid man. It will have a trickle-down effect. All manufacturing, everybody who is under the regulations of increased uh, emissions control, and all of the things that we have to do to comply, all of those costs are passed right on to the consumer, and it will increase our cost of living. Jacqueline Sick, News 9. So the cap and trade bill is being considered by the Senate after passing the House of Representatives last month by a slim vote of 219 to 212.